my beautiful Aries. Welcome. My name is Rose Warrior. Let's begin. Ancient ancestors of the highest white light. Angels and benevolent forces that support Aries and myself in this reading. Guide and govern this reading for messages of support, love, and encouragement, and truth. Knowledge, wisdom, and love for Aries. Aries, Aries, Aries. Okay. Now let us go. Alrighty, Aries. You are in a King of Swords energy. You are cutting things out of your life right now. You are in a beautiful state of being of a butterfly spirit. I say this because the butterfly represents metamorphosis and represents beginnings, endings, and being able to see yourself through some of the most difficult challenges to know really how strong you are is what I'm getting here. Wow, Aries. Okay, so this bottom of the deck energy here with the King of Swords, this is telling me that this is the stance that you're embodying right now. You have a very relaxed, laid back energy to you. However, there is something about a truth you are willing to stand up for when the time comes. And when the time comes, every time is what spirit is saying. You will always get up and use that sort of truth. And that's why your metamorphosis right now is birthing and, and bringing up upheaval. It's bringing up people, places, and dreams is what I'm getting that are allowing you to see your clear future, your clear left and right. Spirit says, even though you may not be able to see your entire future ahead of you or the staircase ahead of you, you know it's there and you always trust the timing of your life, Aries. So we've got the Nine of Swords here. You could be having bad dreams and or feeling guilty about certain aspects of your life right now. For instance, if you go drinking and you come home and feel, you know, drunk and you the next day you just kind of feel you are l vibrating lower, that is a definite, definite reason you could be feeling a little guilty. You could be feeling a little guilty over, honestly, having these nightmares wake you up at night, not knowing why something so heavy is what I'm getting, is able to keep you up. Just getting this guilty energy here. You don't have to be guilty for anything, Aries, because with the nine of wands here, this is you, Aries, standing in your power. I could be speaking to a divine masculine here as well. You're stepping in your power and spirit is asking you to apply and add fire to every sword here that ever came to haunt you or to hurt you with a nine of wands in my opinion trumping the nine of swords here so the numbers 99 wow are really really important for you aries and that's a beautiful powerful number it literally equals 99 equals the number nine in general nine nine plus nine is 18 one plus eight equals nine we're back to nine here for you there is some sort of fulfillment coming in for you. Even though you went through a phase where dreams were keeping you up, giving you negative emotions, negative feelings. I'm getting this dream energy here. Spirit is saying to trust your dreams at this time. That's why you're able to stand in your power. The dreams are trying to tell you something. Your subconscious is trying to tell you something. The spiritual realm is trying to tell you something. Yeah, you're going on some sort of journey here. I don't know if this is in your dream state, and or in real life, but this tells me that you are a person right now transitioning between the dream state and the real world, using the gifts that you have in the dream world, bringing them over to the real world and creating. You're somebody who's focused on your body right now, Aries. You're somebody who's focused on your health. You're focused on your journey and you're focused on which way is left, which way is right for me right now, because I'm trying to journey through, is what I hear. So Aries, the tower came out for you, Scorpio energy. During this season, you could be, you know, facing a lot of upheavals. The page of wands was seen looking at the tower here. So in my opinion, a lot of these towers that you've been going through are happening around you. It hasn't really been something that you felt uh, was fully affecting you until recently, maybe, for one person or two. For everyone else, I really gather that you are looking at your dreams and all the destruction, and you're also looking at the destruction in your real life here, and you're starting to reform the way destruction, what, what it even meant to you. What you are doing now is reconfiguring 
life. You're reconfiguring your mindset. You're learning to look at these tower moments a different way, Aries. But you're on a very, very, very early start to this brand new journey here. And you might be the first to experience this new spiritual wave happening for us all right now, Aries, because you are the first, is what spirit says. Wow, that's beautiful. That's actually an awesome message that I've never really given before. So Aries, take it. If it resonates, whatever doesn't, please leave it. This is one of my first readings specifically for Aries. So I pray that these messages or that there are some or few in there for you, Aries, if you're here. So welcome. Pause real quick. One-on-ones email below. And I also have my donations box below. Thank you, guys. So we have our Eight of Pentacles here with the magician telling me you have everything you need to create this beautiful new reality. You've been using, like I said, facts from the dream state, truths from the dream state, facts from the real world, truths from the real world. You're learning how to differentiate between fact and truth and what vibrates and resonates as ultimate truth, right? You with this eight of pentacles and the magician here are working on using the elements of earth and then from the elements of practicality learning how to get out of that mindset in order to craft a new beginning for yourself however when i say that you're using this practicality now i mean that you are practicing like you're religiously practicing and i say this to say it is it has become something of an obsession almost but i don't want you to think that it's a bad obsession i want you to think that you are fantasizing over this reality that that is real for you you could be building up a new company you could be building up a new business of some sort or you could be brewing up ideas in general your work that you do in life could be some sort of an informant, some sort of a guidance counselor, and or some sort of a creator. You could be a YouTube creator. You could be an Instagram creator of some sort. But this is something that's really bringing you people and money, an audience. You're, you're gaining an audience. You're gaining love. You're gaining insight. You're gaining understanding of the heart. Right now, it's a decision of how articulate you want to be. And from which element do you want to use? So Aries, you're being given the opportunity right now to choose which element you want to use to lead you forward is actually what I'm getting here. You can use the earth element. You can use the cups element of, of emotions, of understanding how you can serve from overflow. You're actually using all of this right now. But spirit is asking you to choose an element that you can work with that way you have that first left right that left step if you will if you're with me and then you step your right right so with the magician here and the eight of pentacles into the six of swords you're definitely journeying new waters here and you're journeying towards some sort of new endeavor that you have been working very hard on and aries you are going to succeed i'm here to tell you that whatever you're working very hard on however the dream state has been has been you know, bringing up, I feel like this tower moments aren't even in, in, in real life for you right now, physical life. I feel like you are having tower moments in your dreams and you're really learning how to live and work through them. That's awesome. With the six of swords here, who is, see, I'm getting a bunch of text messages right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, literally. And that hasn't happened in a reading ever. So the fact that I'm getting all these messages tells me that you're going to be flooded with people trying to get your attention. Look, another text message. I don't know what's going on. People are just messaging me right now because they know I'm talking to Aries. They're like, they're talking to Aries. Let's go distract them. That's also the energy that I'm getting to here with some of these tower moments. People know that you're so driven and working on yourself. And, this, and people don't understand this energy that you're in because you're channeling through the dream state. Aries. The channeling through the dream state. Let's see what's up with that. Let's talk about it. And people are... You, you just come off mystical. Yeah, look, with the seven of swords here. L lies, betrayal, deceit. People definitely have it out for you because you're a leader. Three of cups, gossip. I'm not bringing up negativity. This is the energy. This is the truth. 
And it's not just gossip. Some people actually are just talking about how you're able to live life right now and, and receive all of these blessings. Although they don't know how you're doing whatever it is you're doing to receive these blessings, I think it's causing others to be confused and or a little bit jealous or envious because with the will of fortune here, good karma is in your favor and the will of fortune has shifted for you. And that's over the tower here. So there's definitely a good energy with this tower, right? Oh my God, the tower came out again. Aries. Let me pause right there. We've got double tower energy here. So Aries, this is the truth. You're going through a massive change, but it's different this time. Scorpio season is hitting different this time for you, Aries. The energy that I'm getting here, I'm getting Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and, Scorp and more Scorpio here. So there's a lot of Scorpio energy. You are going through one of the most pivotal times in your life and spirit says let the fire burn wow three of wands aries energy here fire energy you're discovering your hidden potential and spirit is asking you to let that fire burn walk your journey get up it's time to travel spirit says Whew. i can feel that energy very heavily i got goosebumps one more card before we end your reading the world so Aries, we have the world here. You opening up to yourself and realizing your potential within. Getting up off your ass and actually journeying with these ideas. With this newfound wisdom through your dreams here. Which is beautiful. Because I'm more so daydream. So anyone who, who night dreams heavily like this. I think it's very beautiful. Because it's really not something I do too much. Personally. So you have a very special gift. It's not really something everyone's doing right now. You're able to tap into the dream state, pull information and knowledge and truth from that state. Use it, see, with this King of Swords energy, that's where you're in. But utilize, truly get up and cause that, that momentum to start rolling because spirit is in your favor right now. Yes, spirit is in your favor. The world is in your favor. It's all in the palm of your hands here. Again, with the butterfly energy, a metamorphosis going on for you. These are monarchs popping up here. You are seeing meditating over the world, meaning that you are causing more peace in the world by using these special gifts. Last two cards. Seven of Wands and Seven of Pentacles. So we've got the numbers 99 showing up here from the first pool. We've got 99 here, and we've got numbers 77 here as well. Seven of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands means that you are definitely journeying and having to defend yourself a few times, maybe having to stand your truth, maybe a few times, having to let other leaders know, I came here to lead. I was granted permission to lead. And they say, who? Who gave you permission? And you say, God. God gave me permission to lead. That's why I'm here. I'm here to bring more abundance. I'm here to align the chakras. I'm here to bring more nature into the reality. Yeah? Whatever and however that may resonate, take it. Thank you, Aries, for your time. I hope you have a great rest of your night. Happy Halloween. Please be safe if you're going out. Or if you're seeing this in general, please be safe in general. To all of my Aries, thank you for your energy. It is quiet, silent, but very powerful, deadly energy that you have, Aries. Please know that whatever bad dreams you may be having, these dreams are trying to show you a message, yeah? It's it's your, your own soul's way of being able to travel through different dimensions when you're dreaming. So if you're feeling like there are certain negative entities or energies you're picking up on maybe you're journeying to places that you're being allowed to go because you have that power and the fire within you to to light up the darkness right you may also be lighting up dark dark dimensions while you sleep and that's why this powerful dark energy seems to uh you might you may feel like something follows you sometimes but that's not really the energy that i'm getting intuitively i'm getting that 
you carry that energy around your aura sometimes, which is why you have to cleanse, which is why you have to sage sometimes, which is why you probably have to go on long walks. You have to do what you have to do to cleanse yourself because of your ability to travel that far into the universes with your mind. I mean, with your soul, with your astral body, you're doing this all from your own talent, your own skill. So you're very talented. Have a great rest of your evening, Aries.